I have seen an awful lot of pushback against carbohydrate consumption by specific dietary communities. Keto, carnivore, even paleo in some cases. Most of the time it's very generic, blaming sugar or high carbohydrate consumption on metabolic diseases. Is that the truth? We know the 1979 dietary guidelines, eat 11 servings of bread a day, seed oils are good for you, and the role that played in the obesity epidemic. But there is a spike in diabetes from the year 2000, and that is precisely when cell phones became widely available. We also know that many indigenous groups, our ancestors, lived long, healthy, happy lives consuming carbohydrates, plenty of starches, and I think even Italians now are a great example of that. Many of them consume a large percentage of their calories from wheat, pasta, bread, yet many live over a hundred. One thing those people don't have in their towns and environments is high levels of various types of radiation. Of course, there are several other factors in the diet and the lifestyle. You know, the type of wheat, what agrochemicals, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides were sprayed on the crops, high omega-6 consumption through seed oils, soybean, corn, canola oil, factory farmed meats, but the main overlooked factor is the radiation coming from this new cellular infrastructure, particularly cell phones and Wi-Fi. The basic mechanism to understand is that Wi-Fi disrupts organ function, liver, especially the pancreas, and with altered insulin and enzyme metabolism from the pancreas, you end up with diabetes. We're going to look at a few studies that confirm this. First one is effects of olive leaf extract on metabolic disorders and oxidative stress induced by 2.45 gigahertz Wi-Fi signals. So 2.4 gigahertz is basic Wi-Fi. Most people are actually using five gigahertz right now and this pales in comparison to the new 5 grams Wi-Fi. The RF exposure from Wi-Fi device induced an alteration in blood glucose level between hypo and hyperglycemia during 21 days. So we're seeing blood sugar fluctuations that can indicate the Wi-Fi is stressing pancreatic function. RF radiation, 2.4 gigahertz, induced an increase in plasma total proteins, triglycerides, creatinine, ALAT, ASAT, and iron levels, and decrease in plasma uric acid in RF exposed animals. This shows decreased liver and kidney function, massive amounts of oxidative stress through all organs in the body that are necessary to keep us healthy. The RF radiation reduced the amount of thiol in liver RF exposed rat and increased the level of MDA in both liver and kidneys compared to the control group. Indeed, the RF radiation decreased in liver and kidneys the activities of CAT, GPX, total SOD, MNSOD, and CUZNSOD compared to control group. That simply means lower antioxidant activity and less inflammation signaling in the liver. Not good. Histopathological examination of liver showed normal hepatic cells with well-preserved cytoplasm, nucleus, nucleolus. In case of RF exposed rats, hepatocytes were hypertrophied with clear cytoplasm after usual coloration. The hepatocytes have a vegetal cell shape. The enclave were optically empty represented the steatosis which defined hepatic lesions. So the Wi-Fi is heavily overworking the cells, that's why they're hypertrophied, they're enlarged, and they developed lesions, cell damage. This is no joke. All of the organs in the body are getting heavily stressed and damaged through various metabolic pathways, but the liver, which is the main filtration in the body, the main antioxidant organ, just becomes bombarded with oxidative stress. That's why when you have liver dysfunction, you become incredibly sensitive to Wi-Fi like myself. You know, I have iron overload and just a few hours in a Wi-Fi environment like Manhattan makes me feel like I'm going to die headaches, stomach aches, fatigue. The disorders in glucose metabolism could be explained by alteration in function, structure, and or secretion of insulin after RF exposure. Furthermore, RF radiation could affect the glucose uptake by peripheral tissues. The mechanism has to do with calcium channels. I did a video a month or two back explaining how RF works on the molecular level, how the Wi-Fi stresses your cells. I'll link that at the end here. 
But basically, Wi-Fi radiation causes excess intracellular calcium, which results in improper hormone signaling, and hormones are what can release insulin. Otherwise, the sympathetic hyperactivity in rat system could be caused by RF and induced glycogenolysis. In fact, Abdul Melek et al. showed an increase in norepinephrine in skeletal muscle after EMF exposure, indicating sympathetic hyperactivity. Efferkiki et al also showed a decrease in glycogen hepatic after magnetic field exposure, and they supposed that liver and skeletal muscle used lactate instead of glucose. So it seems as if the body is requiring more nutrients to deal with the oxidative stress from the Wi-Fi, and it's not getting those nutrients, resulting in organ dysfunction because the cells in those organs don't have the necessary materials to function. In fact, the hepatic histology showed steatosis accumulation due to abnormal triglycerides accumulation in liver cells, testifying the existence of hepatic lesions. In addition, the RF exposed rats showed an elevation in plasma creatinine level, which it considered as kidney function marker. High Wi-Fi will impair your liver function, and depending on other lifestyle conditions, you know, throw in some iron, excess fructose, not enough copper, say hello, to fatty liver. The high level of plasma iron found in the study could reflect the establishment of oxidative stress. Lai and Singh showed that magnetic field exposure affected iron homeostasis in certain cells, leading to an increase in free iron in the cytoplasm and nucleus, which in turn leads to an increase in hydroxyl radicals via the catalytic activity of the Fenton reaction. In conclusion, data from this study revealed that subchronic exposure to RF induced metabolism disorders, especially in metabolism glucose, suggesting installation of diabetes-like status, which could be related to the induction of oxidative stress. So this is a really solid study showing many different mechanisms in which Wi-Fi damages various organs through high levels of oxidative stress and hypercalcemia. Here's a few quick studies you can also look at. Effects of exposure to electromagnetic field radiation generated by activated mobile phones on fasting blood glucose. The results of the present study show an association between long-term exposure to activated mobile phones and increase in fasting blood glucose and serum insulin in albino rats. Association of exposure to radio frequency electromagnetic field radiation generated by mobile phone base stations with glycated hemoglobin and risk of type 2 diabetes mellitus. It is concluded that exposure to high RF generated by mobile phone base stations is associated with elevated levels of HbA1c and risk of type 2 diabetes mellitus. A study of the effects of electromagnetic field on isolates of Lagerhans and insulin release in rats. Exposure to EMF impacts insulin secretion by influencing the size of pancreatic isolates. Role of oxidative stress and calcium channel signaling on molecular pathways of neuropathic pain in diabetes. Focus on TRP channels. We hypothesize that deficiency in insulin triggers alterations of sensory neuron phenotype that are critical for the development of abnormal calcium homeostasis and oxidative stress and associated mitochondrial dysfunction. I don't think there's anything that needs to be proven here. It's very clear what's going on, and that doesn't include all of the other diseases, cancers, problems, miscarriages poor young souls that suffer at the hands of our new technology. There's no price to be put on human life, but that's what the psychos in control did. They put a price tag on everyone. As with all of the videos where I've talked about related to Wi-Fi and radiation, you know, I think this is just going to go under the radar as well and be ignored by everyone. I just want to reference this when any of these special interest funded losers talk negatively about sugar or carbohydrates. Put your cell phone down and enjoy that ice cream. You know, by no means do we have to go back to the stone age and live like Amish people, but you know, take breaks from your cell phone from time to time, keep it on airplane mode as much as possible, uh, directly wire stuff in your house. We can have modern technology in a healthy way it might be slightly less convenient, but only slightly so. Instead, millions and millions, if not billions of people are gonna die. And what's going on in the world right now, the reason we're all locked inside, is because of the new cellular infrastructure going up. So, uh, you know, if you guys could please leave a comment down below, like, 
you know, make sure you hit that uh, bell icon and you keep getting notified. If you guys want to support me, all the stuff down in the comments below. Uh, we'll do some more Wi-Fi protection stuff in the near future for you guys. Thanks again for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your night. Thank you.